The beauty community is no stranger to the drama, and over the years we've seen just how crazy things can get when beauty influencers come after each other. And even though so much has happened and a lot of people have stepped away from the community or started not posting as much as they used to, the community is still filled with just as much drama and there's still plenty of eyes on everyone when it comes to things they post about online. And right now, a lot of TikTokers are the ones who dominate the beauty space, but that doesn't mean the YouTubers are any less quiet. People online have made it very clear how they feel about certain members of the community and Michaela, especially in the last year, has heard a lot of backlash with the things that she's posted and even who she's invited to her wedding. And people have a huge feeling that Jeffree Star was joining that conversation about Michaela once again, shading her online in a recent post. Jeffree shared a TikTok that said, when you decline every brand deal to give honest reviews, but millions of people still believe a fraud. He also captioned it, I miss when everyone had integrity in the hashtag beauty community and there wasn't a thousand sponsored posts a week. All the comments were tagging Michaela, feeling like this was directed at her since she posts a ton of sponsored content every week. And it wouldn't be the first time Jeffrey had shaded Michaela either, as he's done so in the past several times. He called her out during Mascara Gate multiple times. A lot of foundations and mascaras and certain things I hear may be fraudulent. So if y'all want an unbiased that's been reviewing makeup for 10 years, that has never accepted a coin from one brand to ever say a product is amazing, then stay in tuned because the back. But Michaela, you set the tone now. I used to set the tone on YouTube. When I said something did not work, the internet knew I was telling the truth. So when people are distrusting you, you gotta understand why. He's also called her out on podcasts talking about Mascara Gate before and has even touched on the topic of what he's talking about in this new TikTok, stating that he's not in it for the cash and that other people in the beauty community are. To me, a scenario on TikTok of someone lying about a product, um, it re-inspired me to wanna review again. People what are do you so, mean? There's just so money hungry. Oh, okay. You know, I always give people the scenario. Well, they'll say, well, I would lie. I would take $100,000 to lie to a bunch of people. Well, I actually wouldn't. Mm. <laughs> you know, but I feel and like that's people, hard for people to grasp. And people know that about you, too, yes. that you have the integrity in that community. Yes. So I came back and everyone's like, thank God. But there are a lot of creators out there lying for cash. And, you know, it's, I think it's short lived. It's not going to be forever for them. And just last month, he was calling her out in his review of a new foundation, pointing out that she invited James Charles to her wedding. And a lot of people are like, but Jeffrey, Michaela said this could be a potential wedding foundation. Well, she also had James Charles at her wedding and he admitted to texting minors. So think about the people you support and the company they keep and spend your money where it should be long. He also seemed to have personal beef with Michaela as he invited her to his ranch during Mascara Gate. Miss Michaela is in Wyoming. Um, yes, I know there's a brand trip, I guess. I just found that out. Um, and it is six hours away, you guys. So. I wish Michaela was down the street. It would be really fun to film with her one day. I have sent an invitation out. We'll see if she accepts or not. And later ended up revealing on a podcast that she used to be a fan of his and was a vocal fan. But once she got big herself, that all just kind of stopped and went away. And I'm kind of wondering if maybe this is the reason why Jeffrey goes so hard against Michaela, if it is really just more of a personal thing. Obviously, there's been so many people that call out Michaela and the things that she's done and how she posts content. And of course, the things that Jeffrey is saying about her is stuff that people have been saying and calling her out for. He's not wrong in the things that he's saying. But I wonder if the reason why he is so vocal about it is because of that personal beef. Because I feel like that's what happens with Jeffrey. If you have personal beef, with him he will make it known he will call you out she has management a digital pr team we were speaking and then when i asked her to fly to wyoming to try the mascara it went silent oh, okay. it was management like Shh, stop responding to him okay oh, so you guys were talking yeah a bit? and she's always been great she's dm me she said that she's you know loved me for a long time and she's always been a fan and she used to always wear my brand mm -hmm. and then at the height of the cancel culture um, the support vanished mm -hmm. and she was told to stop uh, with me. So all of these times that Jeffrey has mentioned her is only leading people to believe even more that his new TikTok was about her. And Jeffrey was being just as petty in his comment section as he was liking a ton of comments that were praising him for being different than the people that he was shading. 
A few of the ones that he liked were one of the few influencers left that isn't a sellout. Love you. Love or hate him. You can trust them. Reviews. Jeffree Star has never been afraid to speak the truth, so I've always trusted his reviews. Paid reviews are an instant ick for me, lol. One thing about it is Jeffree will be honest and real when it comes to a review. So clearly everyone was loving up on Jeffree in these comments, reminding him that he does honest reviews and things are Jeffree Star approved. I will say that sometimes Jeffree, like when he reviewed the Hailey Bieber road products. He wasn't actually reviewing it. He was just kind of saying he didn't like it because everybody else was hating on Hailey at the time. He didn't even try it. He just bought it and threw away in the trash. So not every single one of his reviews are maybe honest or real. I think he does like drum up things for drama sometimes. But out of a lot of people in the beauty community, I will say Jeffrey does seem the least afraid to say something negative about a brand. If he doesn't like a product, he will say it. And that's something that people have seen for a long time. And when it comes to Michaela, I don't know if she saw this or what, but she's chosen to talk about her scandals recently and things that people have said about her over the last year or so. And she had posted this in a TikTok. She sat down to do a get ready with me and she opened up about how she's been through a lot and that the past year has not been easy on her trying to deal with all that's been said about her. End of 2022 and the beginning half of 2023 was the absolute hardest time of my life. Like, I, I like 519 happened, mascara gate happened, the stress of a plan and a wedding. Like there was so much going on in my life that I was so mentally depressed and my mental health and my eating disorder and just everything was spiraling out of control for me. I maybe acted okay, but I was not. The internet just turned my wedding into a show. So I wanted to get that. I wanted to move past that so fucking bad. Like, so after the wedding, I felt so much stress off my shoulders. I felt like I could just restat who I am, like literally as a person and stat over from scratch. Michaela claims that she's changed this year in so many ways and has really found who she is because prior to now, she didn't really know who she was. And she claims that this has been really huge for her and she's not letting what people say about her get her down anymore. I completely wanted to change who I was to find who I am. Not because I was so unsure, because if I'm being honest with you, I'm 25 years old and I went straight from college to doing this. And I am in a very different position than the average 25 year old. And it can be very confusing. Straight out of college, I had to go right into this boss business mode, you know what I mean? And I really feel like I put finding myself at this young age kind of to the side. Once I was able to let go of all that that was burdening me, I have been able to like completely transform myself mentally, physically. I feel like a, I feel like a different person, to be honest, but like in the best way. I used to let hate comments and like false rumors and drama and like, oh, she's not authentic, like absolutely wreck me but like now that i'm like so sure of who i am as a person like none of that stuff bothers me at all and i feel so free she also claimed that she would be doing way more this year than she's ever done meaning she would be saying yes to a lot more opportunities that come her way which she claimed to have said no to a lot in the past but I certainly think that Jeffrey and some others would disagree just based on the fact that Michaela does a ton of brand deals and it feels like she never says no to anyone. But I think she was mainly talking about trips here, but she claims she's not turning down opportunities this year, at least not as much as she has been. There's going to be a lot of changes happening this year, but the biggest one you're going to notice is that have you ever seen the movie? Yes, man, of course, with Jim Carrey. And I, I very often for the first three years in my career, I would say no to events and trips because it's just a lot, but I am in my yes year. I've said yes to almost every trip that I've been emailed about. Woo, these are huge. Like this week I am going to New York, literally tomorrow, and then LA right after, like LA from New York. Like what the fuck? In the past I would have been like, absolutely not. I'm excited to travel. You should see the shit I have coming up this year. There's always something going on in the beauty community and I'm sure this won't be the last time we talk about it or Michaela even despite the fact that she's claiming this will be a very different year. And I'm sure even Jeffrey has doubts with the way that it really did seem like he was shading her, but let me know what you guys think about all of this. Jeffrey calling out those in the community, people thinking it's Michaela, and what Michaela had to say about the last year or so of her career and all the drama. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.